so we're going to do a little experiment tonight. I'm going to try and use the tiny whoop. I'm going to upgrade the motors from 603 19 kV that came as standard on the UK 65, and we're going to upgrade them to 802 motors instead. Uh, so we'll give it a go. So we've got our packs on charge here. What we've got is a GMB 260 milliamp hour pack that's brand new, and then we've also got a 300 milliamp hour beta FPV pack that's heavily used. It's had the sticker removed just to save a tiny amount of weight. We've also got here the Ultra Power 1S battery charger, it's fantastic. It does 4.35 high voltage six individual channels so there's no worry about having to balance them individually it's got flashing lights to indicate the charging uh, and a buzzer sounds when it's complete and it goes up to one amp per cell here's the quad that's what we're going to use it's a standard uk65 it's got Isheen e013 uh, props fitted to it um, standard camera and VTX, standard 1S board, the lights turned off. And if you can read them, the motors are currently 0603. So I have to take my word for it. So they're 603 19 kV motors, they come standard with the UK65. We're going to be upgrading them for 802 motors instead. It's very dark out here, I've got back from work and uh, looking for something to do, so the motors have finally arrived today, so that's what we're going to be doing. While those packs charged, I'm uh, just reassembling my uh, electric mountain board. Um, I decided to take it through a ridiculously huge puddle the other day and it soaked all of the electronics, so I've dried it all out and I just need to test it all again to make sure that it's working now. Initially the uh, on-off switch and the voltmeter were broken, but hopefully I've repaired those, well, not repaired, but let them dry out to work again. Uh, so just in the process of reassembling it all now, and then we can take her for a bez again. So here's the test. We're going to fly a completely standard UK65 with e Sheen. E13 props. We're going to be using a GMB high voltage 260 milliamp hour battery and a Beta FPV 300 milliamp hour high voltage battery. We're going to fly it around the garden roughly the same. We're going to wait until it gets to the point where it's no longer viably flyable and then we'll call that the cutoff voltage. Then we're going to replace the standard 0603 19 kV motors for 0802 19 kV motors. Uh, also, what we've done is we've swapped over to a solid pinned connector and replaced the cable for 22 gauge cable instead of the 24 or 26 that it comes with as that seemed to give the best results on the 603 motors. If you went up to the 20 gauge cable, then the improvements seemed to be negligible. Um, when compared to the difficulty of soldering it to the board, you may as well just go for the 22 from my findings.
So I've got a couple of observations. The Beta FPV battery lasted around 30 seconds less and it also bounced back to a higher voltage, meaning it couldn't deliver as much current towards the end. Um, the voltage of the Beta FPV battery actually started low and got higher, which is a sign of the battery being cold and warming up throughout the flight. Whereas the GMB I actually had in my pocket during the flight of the Beta FPV battery. So that was already warm. That started high and went low. But it was also brand new. So I'd expect that one to have a more uh, linear voltage throughout the flight. Um, I'll do exactly the same after I've recharged them. They'll start from cold. I'll keep the GMB in my pocket throughout the flight of the Beta FPV battery. And hopefully that'll keep the test consistent. There you can see the difference between a full pack, a brand new pack, and a cold pack. So on the left you have the GMB brand new, and on the right you have the Beta FPV. The left 260 milliamp hours, the right 300 milliamp hours, and it's showing up 243 left, 165 right. So what did we find from that? I mean, the GMB battery lasted about a minute longer, the Beta FPV battery maybe another 30 seconds or so longer, um, that's pretty much exactly what I was hoping would happen to be honest, that was the whole reason for doing this mod in the first place. So milliamp hours, we'll have to find out 3.47 volts per one, and 3.8 volts for the other so obviously the newer healthier batteries managed to discharge to a much lower voltage um, and the other one has stopped at 3.8 because it just physically couldn't put out the current anymore in order to uh, keep the craft in the air but I mean yeah that's totally worth the upgrade in my opinion so the plan this time is we're going to fly these two batteries around on this quad then we're going to use the same two batteries and we're going to reprogram the ESCs with the new 48 kilohertz firmware um, as this has been stated to give around 30% extra flight time so I'll see what I can get out of it.
so those packs have been recharged now. Uh, as you can see when the milliamp hour readout comes up, the one with the beta FPV sticker on received 143 milliamps, whereas the one with the sticker removed received 153 milliamps. They are both the same batteries, but the one which took more milliamps had a slightly longer flight time of 2 minutes and 15 seconds roughly, opposed to the beta FPV stickered one which had a flight time of around 2 minutes. So I've plugged into the charger and the batteries have discharged to a very slightly lower voltage which could explain the slightly longer flight time. Uh, this is probably due to it drawing less current therefore allowing the voltage to go lower before the quad couldn't fly any longer. The flight times were increased by about 25% so I've heard 30% on Facebook, that sounds about right. So we've recharged these batteries after the final flight and we've managed to put into these two packs 158 and 168 milliamp hours. Um, so obviously this is the weaker of the two packs, even though it's the least used, it just shows you the consistency of the uh, Beta FPV batteries. Still using the 802 motors in 19kV. These props from one of the graphs I've seen on Facebook um, draw slightly more current but produce less thrust than the previous ones which I believe I said were E13 but are actually E10. So they will need to go back on ideally. Um, the other option is the three bladed gem fans. They seem to not draw that much current but produce a lot of thrust. So time for the conclusion. Swapping over to the 802 19 kV motors was a massive upgrade. Got a significant flight time increase from that. Uh, same from going to the 22 gauge wire and the solid pin PH2 connector. Massive increase from that. And finally, the easiest mod of all was to flash the new JESC firmware, the 48kHz schnizzle, as that also increased the flight time, but there was no physical things that had to be done to the quad, just a little bit of software. So you do all that and you're looking at 4-5 to five minute flights. Well worth it.